Okay. <laughs> so I know you can tell by the title what this video is about. I clearly have some explaining to do. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, if not, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting on the floor so you can see my active little baby as I'm talking. Where to begin, really? I did want to explain a few things. And I think I'm just going to like integrate this video throughout like the little clips that I was filming on the first few days with him. I have pulled up to the driveway of where my kitten is. <laughs> I am waiting for the person to tell me to come in and pick him up. I've been stressed, but I'm so excited. And now you guys finally know what I was talking about when I was like, I didn't go to spring break, so I was saving money. Yes, I am getting a kitten. I'm becoming a pet mom today. Very, very exciting. There he is. I don't know how well you guys can see him. He's kind of blending in, but we are about to drive home so he can be in my apartment with me. Okay, ready? Here we go, babes. I'm gonna unzip this. And you can come out at your own pace. Okay? Oh, well, you're not playing around. So you take your time. Update because I haven't really said anything since I picked him up and I know I haven't said his name yet I'm just not 100% on it yet I'm like 93% on the name I'm sitting on the floor in my bathroom and the kitten is in the opposite corner we've made progress but we haven't made a lot of progress I think we got back to my place at like 11 a.m. ish maybe a little bit after and it's now like 5.30 p.m. maybe. We play with him with the toy that's like a stick and there's like a little like thing dangling from the end because that's kind of the most long distance toy that I have. And I was like flicking food over to him, like little kibble, and he was eating that and then he came to the food bowl and ate a little bit. So he did come out of the corner, but he kind of just like went back every time he would like do something out of the corner and he'd go back and then he cooks fine again, then he'd go back. So right now he's over there sleeping. I met this kitten, I think like two weeks ago. It was actually an allergy visit to make sure I wasn't allergic to him because he's hypoallergenic. And I was sitting in a chair and the breeder put him onto my lap and he was fine and then I was like holding him up here and he was chilling. So I just thought it would be a little, maybe a little easier than it has been so far, but I get it. I know we kind of like took him from his home. So I'm just hoping he'll warm up a little bit. The only thing is I actually have to get ready for a gala that I'm going to. I knew I was gonna be getting him like within this week, but I didn't know I was gonna be getting him today for a long time. And I bought this ticket. My mom is here um, to kitten sit. So I'm gonna be leaving for the evening and then like coming back after the event. But it sucks that I have to leave because I want to kind of make as much progress as I can. I've now had him for a week and a half. So this, look at the wave, is Vako. I will put the spelling on the screen. It's V-A-A-K-O. He is a, <laughs> he 
He is a Siberian kitten. He's three months old and I love him so much. I just kind of wanted to start with the story of why I got a kitten and like everything just to explain stuff. It's May. This has been in the works since December, believe it or not. I knew I wanted a kitten, but I thought I was gonna get one in my second year of med school. I am in my first year at the moment. School was getting really, really rough and I decided why wait when having a pet in my life again would just provide so much joy and happiness and give me a reason to come home every day and just basically like emotional support and all of that. So I started the process in December. I am allergic to cats, so I had to look for a hypoallergenic breed. So if you Google hypoallergenic cats, there's like 10 breeds basically. So then I had to research each breed and figure out which one would work best for me and my lifestyle and like the type of cat that I was looking for and the personality that I was looking for and all of that. That is how I found Siberian cats. They are like, I think the most hypoallergenic cat that you can get. I always thought I was gonna end up with a Sphinx because they're hairless, but that actually doesn't completely correlate to like how hypoallergenic the cat is. So anyways, I chose a Siberian cat and then I started researching Siberian cats. So lo and behold, they're not super common. They're not just like in shelters and everything. So I knew it was gonna be kind of hard to get one. So I signed up for all the Siberian rescues that exist and put my name on the list for Pet Finder. And there's another one similar to Pet Finder that is like online and it kind of tells you when there's animals that you can adopt in your area that are like in need of homes and everything like that. I did all that and nothing was happening because they're not super common and people who have Siberian cats are not just like giving them away or like giving them up or all of that. So I knew I was gonna have to take a different route. So I am very pro adopt, don't shop. I always thought I was gonna be adopting all my pets from here on out. However, with the breed that I needed, because I needed a high a cat and like a certain breed that fit my lifestyle, I did have to go through a breeder. So I know I'm gonna get maybe some backlash for that and I just wanted to kind of explain why that all happened. So yes, I did have to go through a breeder but I completely support and believe in adopt on shop. And if you can adopt, then adopt. But if your circumstances are kind of unique, like mine were, and you just really want a pet, then I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to get a pet a different way. I also really like that the breeder that I chose on her website, she was talking about how breeding Siberian cats, because pretty much all of them go to homes where someone's allergic to cats doesn't necessarily take away from adoptions from a shelter or a rescue because the people that want the cat can't adopt from a shelter rescue because they need a hypoallergenic cat. So I hope that makes sense. If you have questions about that, just leave them down below. But I did want to just like explain why I went through a breeder. So that was in December, fast forward to January. I got on a wait list. I researched a bunch of breeders. I was willing to like basically fly to get him if I needed to. And turns out I found a breeder in Philly, which I thought I was gonna have to drive to like Maryland is the closest option. <laughs> um, I cannot believe he's playing this. He never plays with this. I found a breeder in Philly and I communicated with her, asked her a million questions. I just wanted to make sure I was like choosing the best option and my baby was born. I think I saw first pictures of him February 11th and yeah, time just went on from there and I was just waiting. Some kittens, you can adopt them when they're two months old, so eight weeks, but for Siberians, for the most part, you wanna adopt when they're three months old to so 12 weeks, so he came home with me at three months old and <laughs> I'm just like so happy. So that's the adoption story. We've made so much progress in a week and a half. I'm obsessed with him, he's obsessed with me. He's super clingy, I'm super clingy, like it's a match made in heaven. I can't even believe it's only been a week and a half. I feel like I've had him for like months at this point, just from how close I feel to him and how close I feel he feels to me. Like when I came out today, he literally ran to the door. Oh, it's so sweet. Good morning, guys. It is. Sunday and it is day two with the kitten. This is the first full day that I'm having him though. I am so tired. I actually came home last night at like 
12 from the gala event that I was talking about. The entire time I was there, I was just like thinking about the kitten. Oh, I, I, he's up. I was trying to be quiet because I didn't want him to hear me, but he's up. He's meowing now, so I'm gonna hurry up. My mom is babysitting and I was just texting her like, what's going on? How is he doing? I did make some progress with him. I have like pet him at this point while I was playing with him, but I still haven't like picked him up. And yeah, I like came home last night and I just ended up like changing into my pajamas and like sleeping in the bathroom with him, which I kind of was gonna do, but then I kind of was also not gonna do. So that's what I did. At one point he woke me up by meowing and literally I look at him, he was in his litter box and he's staring at me eye to eye, pupil to pupil, into my soul while he's going to the bathroom and I'm like, are you, like, what does this mean? Is this an insult? Like, what's going on? It was really funny, but I guess he just wanted me to know that he was finally going to the bathroom. I do think he pooped. Hopefully we have a great day today and we make a lot of progress. It's also Mother's Day, which is funny because like my first Mother's Day, literally like my first full day with him is Mother's Day and I'm like, no mother. So anyways, let's go feed him and start our day with him. I'm gonna go in and give him this. I dimmed the lights so he could understand it was nighttime. There he is. Hi, baby. Good morning. I'm coming in, okay? He did not waste any time. I love how he's eating from that position. He loves doing that. Baco. Come here, babes. You can do it. It's just carpet. Look at you. Hi. Okay. Oh, God, that's loud outside. It's okay, baby. Oh, he's still getting used to like all the city noises. Okay, I'm coming. The other thing that I did want to explain was his name and where it's from. So his name is Baco. I was so torn apart by what name to pick. It's funny because I didn't know if I was gonna get a boy or a girl and wanted a boy and I wanted like a silver blue tabby boy, which is exactly what he is. And I ended up being last on the wait list for this litter. So I didn't pick the cat. I ended up with the last cat and happened to be like my dream cat. If I ended up with a girl, I had like the perfect name. Everybody loved the girl name. And then if I ended up with a boy, I had so many names that I just wasn't sure. And anyone who is close to me knows I was struggling with the name for so long. Literally like I had him in my hands and I just was like, I love the name, but I feel like a lot of people didn't love the name that I wanted and then I was kind of like letting other people influence what I wanted to name him. I chose a name that I have been dreaming of naming him since December. So his name is Vaco, like I said. I will put a picture on the screen of where Vaco is from. It's from The Chronicles of Riddick, that's a movie, and I just love that name so much. I think it's so cool, I think it's unique. I feel like I'm always saying his name because he's always doing something he's not supposed to be doing. I've moved his cube in here. It's like to look out the window and see big moving cars. You guys are really seeing him close. Hi, baby. Oh, <laughs> this is what he does. Hi, babe. You gonna come back? He has a standoff every time he goes by the mirror. And then, hi, babe. Yes. So he's like two and some change pounds. He's very, very tiny. He's fluffy, but he's very, very small. But he's doing so much better. A sign of like a cat being comfortable is their tail being straight up. I read that on YouTube, but I think it's true. Because when he first got here, his tail was down, and now you see his tail is nice and high in the sky. I am also a new kitten cat mom. 
I have never had a cat before. I grew up with a dog and he is the only like pet experience I've ever had. So I've never had a cat. If you have tips for first time cat owners, leave them down below. I'd love to read them. I've done a lot of research, but I'm also figuring things out as I go. So that's super fun. And yeah, we're having a blast. <gasps> Vok, Jesus Christ. He's a fall risk though. He falls off of everything. Like. He's actually a baby, like a, a human baby. I'm always catching him. <laughs> he is a zoomie thing. I'm always catching him because I just feel like he's falling. I guess he just jumped. But yeah, this is Valk. He's a new member of my family. He is now my life. And he's now my best friend. <laughs> the people want to see you. And yeah, I'm literally so happy. I couldn't be happier. I'm just so grateful that I ended up with him and I'm grateful that he likes me. It was just very discouraging like the first day. I didn't think he was going to like me, so. Yep, I love you. I love you. So this is Vok. If you liked this video, please like the video. If you wanna see more of Vok, then subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye. Can, can the people get a meow? <laughs> can the people get a meow, Vok? It's like, no, I wanna go play. <laughs> Bye guys.